Something miraculous happened on my way back home from San Pedro after visiting an ill friend. I almost died, but I didn't. The 110 is frightening. Narrow lanes, blind curves, stop signs on on-ramps, very short exit ramps, a sliver of a shoulder sometimes. Why is this 8.2 mile stretch of freeway so hectic? Simple, it's the oldest freeway in the West and we didn't know what we wanted freeways to do yet. When it was built in 1940, it was designed for a maximum speed of 45 miles an hour and an average of 27,000 daily car trips. Today, people drive 70 miles an hour and it sees at the very least 130,000 car trips per day. Now that's data from 2005. That's the most recent reliable data I could find by the time of filming this. So at the very least, it's five times as full and people are driving nearly twice as fast as what it was designed for. The answer to why the 110 north of downtown is different. People have floated the idea that the third most lane could be an entry and exit lane only, but Caltrans... I was driving back from San Pedro to Toluca Lake when all of a sudden my car starts shaking like a hurricane and I'm closest to the carpool lane on the very far left. So for me to be able to cross over seven to eight lanes in a freeway split with smoke and loud noise in my ear and the car shaking, I had no idea what was going on. I don't know what was about to explode. I could have hit trucks, cars, motorcycles. I did not see what I'm doing. And then all of a sudden it was clear what happened. It was just a tire that had popped, which is really weird because I just replaced four new ones a month before. I thought I was done, finished, dead, but no, God had other plans. This is what happened on the freeway right now on my way home from San Pedro. That's just insanity. Considering how fast everybody was going, anything could have happened. Triple A guy had never seen a tire blow up the way it had. It was just very miraculous that I was safe. Just made it home and I looked at the time. It was 11, 11. And then this is just where all the trash cans are. But today in particular, something showed up here on the wall. A Jesus candle. Never seen that one before. Really super grateful to God to be home safe. The candle was a great reminder of who had the wheel because I sure as heck didn't.